I'm curious how much air I can put in each of these two balloons. So let me ask the question, which balloon has more air in it? So let me attempt to inflate them. Okay, so one of them has air in it. Let me tie that off. Okay, we'll set that aside. Let me inflate the other one. I'll tie it off. Okay, so I think you can see visually the answer to the question, which one has more air in it? They both have about the same amount of air in them. I applied a lot of pressure to the balloon uh, that started out smaller, the little water balloon. I applied very little amount of pressure to the larger balloon. So here's a different question. Which balloon has the greater ability to store air? Well, definitely the party balloon. See, if I applied equal pressure to both of them, this one would have inflated to a much larger size. So, in any case, what we're talking about here is the balloon's capacity or ability to hold air. And we might define it like this. The balloon's capacity to hold air is equal to not necessarily the amount of air that it holds. If that's the case, look, these are both holding the same amount of air, but they certainly don't have the same capacity. Rather, it's probably better to say the capacity is equal to the amount of air in comparison to how much pressure that I apply. So for this one, it stores a given amount of air, but I applied a low pressure. So if it holds that amount of air but only required a low pressure to do it, that's a high capacitance. This yellow one holds the same amount of air as the orange one, but I had to apply a bigger pressure to make it do that. So it has a lower capacitance. Okay, we could rearrange this equation, say the amount of air we hold is equal to its capacitance times the amount of pressure. So like I say, if I applied the same pressure to both, but one of them has a greater capacitance, then it'll hold more air. Why all this talk about balloons? Because we can make a comparison between balloons and these devices that are meant to store electricity. So this capacitor appears like it probably has greater capacitance than this one. Does that mean this one always stores more charge than this one? No. If I apply the same voltage to each, this one will store more charge. But I could apply a small voltage to the larger one and a very big voltage to the smaller one, and it could turn out that the smaller one actually has more charge in it. So we define a similar equation. We say the electrical capacitance is equal to the ratio of how much star, uh, charge it stores in comparison to what potential difference or what voltage, in other words, was applied in order uh, to store that charge. It's convenient to write the equation in this form. So if we want to find out how much charge is stored, we multiply the capacitance times the voltage. If we want to know how much voltage was used to charge the capacitor, we divide the resulting charge by the capacitance. And if we want to determine what is the capacitance, we divide how much charge is stored in comparison to what voltage was applied. So if that helps, feel free to keep in mind that we can make an analogy between capacitors and balloons. Obviously, the analogy doesn't hold up indefinitely, but as far as defining this quantity known as capacitance, uh, it seems to make sense.